Welcome back. Well, it's looking like a very, very good session. We just got around 20 minutes to go. So let's get in. Nimesh, Nimesh, the screen is telling us it's a very, very good looking screen. Yeah. But uh, what's the feedback you're getting from dealing with? You know, Nigel, the big talking point today is only reliance and reliance. You know, what a move in, in, in a single day. Yeah. That stock is up 700% for a, for a stock like reliance to move up so much. And again, you know, there is no specific, at least I've not picked up any particular news. Or for that matter, even in terms of flows, it's, it was not indicative that that's, that's a big flow in, mm. in large cap names, including reliance in today's trade. So a, a big surprise to many dealers and many people as to why reliance is up 7% in a, in, in a day like today. As I said, you know, even in terms of flows, it's a mixed day of trade. In fact, there's going to be a small market rate close sell flow as well. So you'll see that in the last 30 minutes of trade. That's the that's overall feedback from a flow perspective. In fact, I, I just got a message, you know, in the afternoon saying, the Sensex is up 1,200 points, but my portfolio has done nothing in, in today's market. So that's a kind of a day, you know, Reliance is up, OE, a lot of PSE stocks are buzzing in trade, large cap pieces are up today, uh, likes of ONGC, likes of Coal India. Mm. And that's not something which is largely been owned by the retail investors. So a uh, good, good looking screen, but it's not something which is exciting a lot of traders, so to speak, in, in today's market. Again, you know, uh, uh, within the PSUs, that, that trend continues. Again, I understand the OMCs are well bid, so that's one space which is which is again been well bid by the institution. So that's where some bit of interest lies. But again, uh, from a market perspective, I guess earnings are going to dominate, and we're seeing this right today. For example, AU is down 12 percent, and World Time, uh, a mid cap company, is up 12 odd percent. So yes. that's the kind of divergent moves we're going to see on the back of earnings. But from a flow perspective, it was a mixed day, is what I understood, and uh, everybody is uh, is equally puzzled as to why. A stock like Reliance is up 13, uh, uh, 7 or percent in a day like today. Well, and Voltam, even after doubling the stock, is up close yeah. to around. And uh, remember, in Voltam, the promoter sold at 40 to 100. Exactly. And from there, the stock is doubled. Doubled. So, and with, with today's move. Yeah. And you know, Nimesh, that's a good point because you know you have the Nifty that's up 400 points or but you don't have advanced decline, 5 is to 1 or something. Exactly. It's almost even, Stevens. You, know, you have one and a half stock that's advancing for okay. one stock that's declining. But tell us individual stocks, what are you picking up? Okay. So, in terms of individual names, the first stock in my list today is Tips Industries. 5 percent move on that stock. After a very large block, nearly 5% equity got changed hands. And I understand the promoter entity was a seller in today's block and a domestic mutual fund was a buyer. So it looks like it was a single buyer who bought out that entire 5%. So no further sell uh, for sale sale is what I'm expecting in tips. And that's the reason why that stock is buzzing in trade today. The second name is Concord, part of the PSU basket, big move in that stock as well. I understand some HR investors are quite active in Concord. But from a flow perspective, there are sell flows is what I understand. So expect high delivery volumes, but largely on the sell side from the FIS in Concord in today's trade. The third stock is DLF, at record highs, been a big mover within the real estate name. But today there's going to be a small uh, MOC buy flow into DLF. So maybe you'll see a bit of a spike in the last 30 minutes in DLF, largely in back of flows. And the last one is KPIT. Uh, again, uh, something which is puzzling the market to a larger extent. The stock is down uh, more than 7% in, in, the, in the last one week. Uh, no specific reasons for it, but, but there are sell flows is what I understand. So in back of selling pressure from the larger affairs, that stock has been underperforming. And even today's trade, uh, that stock is down largely in back of sell flows. Okay, all right. Got that. Thank you, Nimesh, very much for that. Uh, you know, really ferocious day of gains today. Uh, looking at the way things are moving. By the way, uh, look at Access Bank as well. It's powering through. A lot of these banking names have put on more weight in the last half an hour. Kotak, Access even HDFC Bank for that matter, ICICI Bank, SBI, all of your large cap banks are, uh, you know, either at day's high or making fresh highs as this afternoon.